of it's my biggest mileage week. Over 60 miles is the plan, at 100k. So I'm gonna take you through that week, including my long run today, which has a park run sandwich, and then it's Brighton Marathon on Sunday spectating. I'm Nick, my initials are NRG, so this is NRG Runs. And as I said, I'm on the long run today. It's actually a Saturday because I'm spectating at Brighton Marathon tomorrow. More on that later. But first, I just want to take you through the week that's been in what is my biggest mileage week ever. So just to recap, since I did St Albans Easter 10K, if you haven't had watched that video, then feel free to take a look so that was good Friday I did an easy run on Saturday and then Sunday I did a 22 mile long run including seven miles at marathon pace so sub three hour minute mile in so 650 a mile or 415 a kilometer did that for the seven miles at the end it took me about three hours, eight minutes in all. There are quite a lot of people that don't advise to running more than three hours during your training. So I was conscious of going a bit over, but, but I did find a really interesting article. I'll link to it in the description, which does explain that actually there's not hard evidence to that, um, but there's a potential increase to injury. So one to weigh up, but really wanted to get 20, 22 miles in which I did and yeah felt pretty good got to practice all my gels which I'm taking again today yeah it was part of a club run that I was leading so had company for 10 miles of it which was nice bearing in mind that big effort on Sunday Monday is actually our Easter bank holiday in the UK which meant no six aside football for me so I used it as a five mile recovery run instead. Tuesday, uh, we were doing intervals with my running club, uh, eight times four minute efforts with 90 second recoveries. So I was leading that session and I just held back a little bit because my legs were still feeling the effects of Sunday. So that was a good session though. Got in another 10 miles, 16k. Oh, just say on that Tuesday, also did a bit of strength and conditioning in the morning. More focus on conditioning and just, yeah, getting the body moving and trying to get a little bit stronger. Wednesday, it was another easy day. I think I did about eight miles in all. Uh, just keeping it easy for an hour and 10 hour and 15 minutes. Thursday, got up nice and early and went and did a marathon pace tempo with Mike. So we did a 1.7 mile warm up. Then we did eight miles at marathon pace or quicker. So 650 minute mile or quicker. And then I did a about 1.5 mile cool down. So 11 miles in all, really good session. Then that evening, I did some more conditioning work, uh, just band work with my legs, and did some uh, foam rolling as well. I've actually got a massage gun, which an old neighbor of mine gave us for free, so that's really handy. So yeah, just doing everything I can to help my legs recover. Then Friday was a rest day and much needed. And then today, it's Saturday and it's the long run. So three hours is the plan. So time on feet more than anything. Um, I'm currently running from Fletcher where I live in Hertfordshire to Stevenage, which is my hometown, where I'm gonna do the park run. So it's about seven miles to get there. So I might hopefully get a little bit more than that in before we start the park run. Then obviously 5K, 3.1 miles for the park run. I'm gonna to plan to do that around marathon pace if the legs are 
I'm feeling it. If not, I'll just keep it steady. And then heading back home with a little bit of extra miles to get in. So it should be around 20 miles, I would think. Maybe a little bit further. But yeah, something with the number two in or 32K if that's your bag. The bit I'm running on isn't the most direct route to Steve Lynch, but it's actually the way I used to cycle to work. So it's quite a uh, round queue. Cycling's quite fast. Uh, so yeah, it's quite a quite nostalgic for me. Almost 30 minutes in now, so taking my first gel. I'm using the SIS gels, 22 grams of carbs. So yeah, hoping to take those every 30 minutes or just before as practice for race day in terms of pace today the plan is to well just keep it easy for the first few miles then i might switch to more of a steady pace so then do my marathon pace as a part run and then either back to steady and easy depending on how i'm feeling so just yeah gonna try and manage the legs but maybe push it a tiny bit rather than just keep it easy throughout Main goal though, time on feet. Another thing I'm doing is taking a salt stick chew every 20 minutes. Now these are meant to help with replacing lost electrolytes which you lose through sweat. I've had a few problems with cramps so there's no scientific evidence to, to support that this makes a difference but if you can do it I don't think there's any harm in not so Find these out today. Just gonna get them out now. So here they are. Not as dodgy as it looks, I promise. And yeah, just one every 20 minutes of what I'm gonna try and see how that works. So I'm just coming into Ferdinand Valley Park now. I've uh, just gone through seven miles in one hour, three minutes. So one third of the run done, two hours to go. I'm about to do a change, put a stripey vest on top because the first Saturday of the month at Stevens Park Run is stripey Saturday. My club Fairlands Valley Spa, so got to wear that. Got to wear those colours with pride. We made it a park run. So three miles marathon pace. See how the legs feel. So that's mile one for the park run. 650 on the dot. Ninth mile in total. Feeling alright. So that's mile two, 647. We're up to 10 miles now, so almost halfway of this long run. Doing all right. 6.49 for the mile, bang on as we get to the finish. Oh, first time, first time uh, finishing this direction. Oh, that was harder than I wanted it to be, to be honest. Particularly with another 10 miles to go. But well, we won't stop for long. The storms are coming in. Just some reflections on that part one just now I said I found it quite hard and I think that's fair-ish like I was you know breathing was fine and stuff but then when I stopped I did feel it a bit so but I mean shoes that's done over 900 miles and I'm on for my biggest mile this week ever so I think maybe some slack and I've done a 20 mile all at that pace, marathon pace. I followed that up with a very hilly 19 mile Astrid boundary run. And then, yes. and then last week, say 22 miles, the last seven at marathon pace. So it's gonna catch up, I think. And today, as I said at the start, it's about time on feet. So over 12 miles done. One hour 43 on the watch, just over one hour 15 to go. So we're two hours 40 in, almost 19 miles, second to last, 
salt stick chew so I've been having those every 20 minutes and gels every 30 minutes so I've had five of those now but yeah crunch it down um, lemon and lime flavour yeah rate them get that little salt aftertaste we're into the final minute 21 miles 0.3 on the watch quicker mile to finish 7.38 I think uh, and yeah three hour long run in the bag very very pleased with that so that's all for today see you at Brighton Marathon tomorrow where we're going to cheer on some runners oh and uh, thanks to Charlie White for uh, the suggestion of the part run sandwich because that was a shout and congrats on the PV for St Albans East 10k I felt bad for not mentioning that so well done Charlie, uh, on to tomorrow. We made it to Brighton, we're at the Brighton Marathon and we're hoping we're hoping to see Keith and loads of other Spartans. I left my phone at home, Georgie's app won't work, so we're in the dark, but we're gonna do what we can. Love the atmosphere. Well done, Peyton! Well done, guys! Great running! Keep at it. Try him, try him. You're doing great, you're doing great. This has been hell. Oh, sorry. 13 miles inside, that was it. Oh, no. The weather as well, right? Oh, no idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, keep at it, mate. I'll see you across the road, yeah? Well done, Buzz. You're looking amazing, yes. Incredible. Hey, how you doing? Oh, mate, it's hard work. Oh, great work, you keep going. Well done the Rhino, well done everyone. Well done Chris. Well done Doggo. Great running. Yes Keith. Keith. Yes, Keith. Keith. Yes, Keith. Keith. yes Keith. Yes Keith. Yes Keith. Yes Keith. Yes Keith. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good finish. Yeah. So that's the end of the Brighton Marathon. Well done to everyone who finished the day in tough conditions. It's pretty warm out here and it's also been quite windy at times as well. So yeah, feel for the runners a bit to be honest. But yeah, just a reminder I think of how difficult the marathon distance is and how amazing everyone's done to finish. So yeah, it was not the most ideal in terms of spectating because we couldn't get the app to work, but we still got to see a lot of people, so uh, yeah, it's nice. So that's all for this one. Uh, next up, I'm just going to be doing a thing about my first marathon, which is the London Marathon. So please subscribe to the channel if you want to take a look at that. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Oh, and just to say, I got my run in. So that's 62 miles for the week, 100 kilometers. That's my longest mileage week ever. I did get my hair cut, I meant to earlier, and uh, I'm a bit sunburned. Whoops.